once again, I'm not going to be reading the comments too much at the first because I'm going to be doing the wood burning. just want to get this done quickly. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? And I won't be reading the comments once I'm doing this. We've got a gnome here. I made a video, two videos of this. This will be the third video. And a snowman that I carved out of that uh, mahogany from the Viking, Viking rocking chair. Just quick carved. Can you guys hear me? Okay, perfect. So what I got here is this is a cheap Amazon wood burner. I do have the, um, whatever that, the most expensive one. It's digital, but I like this one better because it's got the big uh, handle and uh, it doesn't get hot in my hands. This one does take a little while to warm up, but um, it was brought up in the Carving Fusion members on Facebook. Somebody, Tarek, I think his name's Tarek. I can't pronounce it right, but he's got one like this, but it's the orange one. It's the same thing, man. And his does not get um, hot. I told him to unscrew these little things here. Take your little piece out. Clean it up with sandpaper. Then put it back in. Maybe you're just not getting proper contacts. Make two, Make sure your two bar things. See those copper? This is hot, so I'm not touching it. Make sure your copper things aren't touching like this. Make sure they're separated. But usually it's clean these out. Clean the contacts. Like clean this off your little burner take the screws right out too and clean the ends of the screws with sound fine grit sandpaper because sometimes they get all dirty anyways so what we're going to do is we're going to do some wood burning this is the gnome that i carved this is i i don't know it might even be freaking maple you know but it's um i just got it off the beach um and I carved it into a gnome because I sold the other gnome that I, this one's a lot bigger. I did a bigger one to show you, so you guys can see on the video um, easier how I did it. So all I'm going to do is burn around the hat, burn around the nose inside here. All the points that are raised off, I'm going to burn. So let's not waste any more time. Get to it. And then I can, then I'm going to burn a couple things on this snowman under the hat on the snow, like a snowman, the snow, the, the, the the face parts should be smaller than the body, but I'm just kind of in a rush. I've been sick for a week, and I'm just starting to feel better now. So let's get the wood burning done. I have a fan sucking the smoke up here. I'm going to open up the window a bit, and I'm not going to talk too much. I'm just going to kind of get this done. I think Just Carve Rob will be here. Hi, Evil Rick. Did you get my email? Um, just Carve Rob will be here. He knows lots about the wood burning stuff, so... If you have any questions, you can ask him. So this wood burning is good for um, when you're doing the painting. Yeah, sometimes this pen gets hot. And sometimes See how I'm doing under the hat there? It's just good for uh, separating the paint because the hat's going to be red. The, no, yeah, the hat's going to be red. The body's going to be red. So, yeah, but this part here is going to be white. And um, when I've done this, I'll uh, answer questions and I'll show you guys my epoxy nightmare stuff like don't be a Geordie because well when I say don't be a Geordie I mean don't be a Geordie so this is basically for you guys to chat amongst each other's too up around the nose there wood burning your um shoot your smaller carvings really um if you don't have a wood burner i suggest this one's like 50 bucks 
I suggest you get one. I always just crank mine up, Max. Pedal to the metal, full throttle, Johnson. All right, so there's that then. Now let's get inside here where the arms are. This guy's got little midget arms. Yeah, see, I'm rushing it, so it's probably where you don't want to be rushy. See his little midget arms? Yeah, this one's definitely a midget arm. Not that there's anything wrong with midget arms, but try not to carve midget arms on your gnomes. If you want, if you want to carve midget arms, Midget arms, go ahead. I'm just saying, I, I don't I don't mean to try to carve midget arms. So, yeah, I've been in bed for basically, well, just puttering around home for the last four days. I don't know what, I just got really, uh, I ran out of energy. Happens happens to the best of us, but I get sick probably. When I get sick, it's different than most people get sick. When I get sick, it's kind of like a, it's because of my injury. I know that. It's just kind of sound like my kind of body shuts down and it says, okay, enough, Jordy. Take a break. Because... I'm usually going pretty hard during the daytime. So it's good to take some breaks. It's all plugged up. I had a doctor's appointment today. And I told her I want to get a blood test done just to see that everything's okay she's like why Jordy there's been a flu going around I says I don't care I just want to make sure everything's okay she's like well that's good but I can see that you're fine you sound fine I'm like yeah but sometimes I don't feel fine so I think it's more or less I kind of do it to myself so there you can see the wood burning how it's going Hi, Nate. Thanks for the cup of coffee. Welcome to the members. I just looked at the screen and that just popped up. So here's his shoes. Just carve Rob's the best at carving these little gnomes. Actually, Ben's studio on the lake has a better version, more realistic. Don't know what's up with old Benny boy, but... I know he's still alive because I emailed him. He emailed me back to said he's busy doing people stuff. Sticks and stones. I don't know about him. Haven't Kevin haven't talked to him in a good almost year. I don't even know if the guy's still alive. So that's almost done. It really helps when you're for the painting. This is the most quiet life that I think we've ever had. So I just got to do around here and then we're done burning this. Oops.
Okay, I got to kind of take. Well, this doesn't have to be that great either because this is just like the kind of cotton. Uh oh, cotton stuff. The white part around Santa's hat. I didn't carve a little ball on top of this. Uh oh, I didn't carve a little. Uh oh. I didn't carve a little ball on this guy either. I don't care. I, that, you're Santa Gnomes. This is for the challenge, everybody. Your Santa Gnomes don't have to have the little fruity balls on the top. Um, people have been sending me pictures of their challenges, and everybody's doing a great job but I'm not accepting pictures quite yet. So I'll, I will make updated videos about when I'm accepting pictures and stuff like that for the, to send me your gnomes in there. Don't forget to sign your pieces. So that's done. I'm thinking this might be maple, you know, just a real old piece of maple. So anyways, a snowman here. I'm not going to burn on any scarf. I'm just going to paint it white. And then here's got a poo hat. Looks like a turd. So I'm just going to uh -oh. go along burn here. This ma mahogany is actually pretty soft. soft to carve so that that's good because when I go chainsaw carve the chair it's going to be soft to carve do I need to do any burning up oh, sorry do I need to do any burning up here I don't think so I think I just need to kind of burn around here to separate the snowman head from the snowman body uh oh Yeah, this this is a long snowman. Yeah, so we're almost done burning, so I can start painting these. Um, I do suggest to like maybe this snowman I'll mod podge it first, then paint it white because the wood bleeds through the white, or the white bleeds through the wood. I don't know how it works. I don't care how it works. I just know sometimes. When you paint wood white, it looks like shit. So I'll probably mod podge this first, then paint it, then put the little eyes on there. And oh, I gotta drill a hole for the nose, too. Where's the center of the nose? Where's the nose? You need to carve yourself a little nose, little carrot nose, or you can carve them. You carve them a little round nose on there. You can carve them whatever kind. Of, I thought this morning when I was working on this I said hey maybe I'll just make a wood spirit snowman has anybody ever made a wood spirit a snowman spirit With the beards I think I have actually I don't know maybe just carve Rob has so that's it for wood burning put that aside so here's these two fellows Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. So here's these two ones. Pretty quick. Good enough. Here's this uh, tree. Hi, Eddie. Everybody say hi to Eddie. I don't know if you guys seen that video, but I was talking about he had a seizure. He's, um, he's uh, epileptic, I think it is. I don't know if he wants me to talk about it. He can talk. I just carved Rob. I can see the comments. So there's that, Noam. I'd love to see you do some gnome videos. Just carve, Rob. I know you're busy, bro. I gotta finish carving this tree. This tree is really bad. This is cottonwood or something. So there's those. So I'm gonna paint. What I'm gonna paint today quickly is I already got the paint out here. I'm gonna paint this red. This part is arms red and the. Uh, 
hat red. Hi everybody. I'll be I'll be talking more. I'll have the I'll put the camera in the tripod. And um, what kind of red? I got this metallic red. This is one of my higher end paints because most of the paints I use just from the dollar store. So let's put a little bit of this metallic in, in here. And then we'll use some dollar store stuff. I was just at the I was just at the dollar store today. I got a funny story for you guys. Well, it's probably not funny to you guys, but so I'm gonna mix up the two paints. My best friend from oh yeah, that see that metallic stuff looks a bit more pinkish. My best friend from uh well since kindergarten, Tyler, his name's Tyler. I don't know. I told him I was gonna be live today. I don't know if he's watching this, but <laughs> So first of all, actually, I'll tell you this, the first part of the story. I'll tell you what happened. Well, it's not really. Whatever. I'm in the, I had the doctor's, my doctor's office is right by the thrift store in town here. And um, so I went to my doctor's and I went to the thrift store after. And I got this, uh, I bought a little extension cord for my Christmas lights. We have like a Christmas thrift store thing that happens every year. So I bought a little extension cord and I waited in line and I knew one of the ladies that um, uh, chair does the she works there for she just volunteers it's a volunteer thing for the town for the hospital so I get up to the and I was talking to her just saying hello and blah, blah, blah. and then when I get up to the cash register she's there she's at the cash register and the lady that was doing the taking the money. So the lady that I knew there, when I finally got up to the lady that was taking the money, she's like, oh, that's $4. And I says, yeah, here you go. They gave her a $5 bill. She's like, oh, this is Jordy. She, Jordy's the, the tree carver. He's the one that carves the, does the chainsaw carvings and stuff of the trees and all that stuff. Poxy. And then the lady, at the top of her young lungs, she yelled out, oh, my God, it's Jordy. And I looked at her and I was like, kind of like, whoa. And I, I said, okay, bye. I says, okay, bye. And she's like, no, no, no. She's like, I love, I bought your, I bought one of your carvings from the store. Because I'm, this lady, Ladner, selling my carvings this year. I don't want to make, so I don't have to deal with people. She's like, I bought one. She yelled Jordy so loud. I was like, what the? I says, okay, see ya. And she's like, no, no, no. She goes, I bought one of your carvings. And she goes, I'm the one that bought, I, I bought it, but I left it at the store because you forgot to sign it. She goes, I'm an artist too. And she goes, always sign your pieces. I looked at her and I was like, really? I says, I guess I just forgot that. I could have went on to say that. I say on every single one of my YouTube videos, I got over 10,000 of them to sign your freaking pieces. But I didn't because I didn't want to embark in that conversation. So I says, okay, yeah, I'll remember that. I think just that one, though, I forgot to sign it. So I did. I went back and signed it for you. She goes, I got it. I love it. And she goes, oh, I got a tree at my house. We just got to cut down. And me and my husband want you to come and carve it. And I said, oh, okay, well, let's wait till the springtime. Here's my number. She took my number and whatever. She, if she calls me, she calls me. But it was just funny the way she yelled, Jordy, it's Jordy. And the store was packed. I was like, I didn't even look around. I just kind of dropped my head. I says, okay, bye. And she's like, no, no. Anyway, so then, Ladner, my town, I'm in the Ladner, British Columbia. It's a small town. Then I went to the the, the dollar store because I had to get little cups like this and stuff and spend more useless money. Then, so like, I was at the dollar store like three weeks ago. I saw my best friend from uh, kindergarten there, Tyler. And when Tyler goes grocery shopping, he he, he goes grocery shopping at the freaking dollar store. Like he ha his buggy, it's just so it's just so funny. <laughs> you, you guys probably won't think it's funny because it's just like whatever. But both times I, I saw him there three weeks ago, and then I saw him there again today. And both time he was at the cash register loading all his stuff. It took like I went shopping. I went and bought like ten things like out of the aisles and stuff like that. And I took my, and he was still there loading his stuff on the counter from the dollar store. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, it's just Tyler's a big dude, man. Yeah, it's just I just found it hilarious. Like he's got a big, huge shopping cart full of that's his groceries for the. Tyler's the one that has all my, all my uh, chairs in his backyard for him and his buddies Walter and Jamie. They have a fire pit. They got those chainsaw car chairs that I did. But yeah. <laughs> Just cracked me up. He's, you know, he's at the cash till like. There's only one lady working. There. <laughs> there's only one lady working there, and then there's Big Tyler standing there with a shopping buggy, and there's like a whole bunch of ladies. I, so Tyler came by my house after, anyways, and I I told him how funny I thought it was. He's like, "Oh, I let the first few ladies that are that are just like coming up to the lineup. I I let them scoot past." Then uh, everybody else has to wait. <laughs> you guys know how busy the dollar store lineups get? You know, when some people are there just to spend a dollar? <laughs> I had to wait like probably four minutes. I didn't care though because it was Tyler. Oh man, I'm not really happy I put that uh, metallic in there because it's kind of pinkish. So, <laughs> man. Yeah, because usually when I go to the dollar store, yeah, I'm not going to use that metallic stuff. I got to look at this, the, the waster. No, I'm not going to pour it back in there. Yeah, I, actually, talking about pinkish, I'll show you guys some later cases that I poured and it, that turned out they turned out pink too from using this metallic stuff. So it's not a it's not a bad thing. Like the, the ladies would like the pink the pinkish color, but. I don't want to be known for painting pink things, I guess. I'm all out of getting up. I'm running out of red paint, red paint here. That's why it made me bring up that story because the, uh, oh yeah, look at this one. It's just snotted right up. Yeah, look at that. I think this one's I think this one's done too. Yeah, that's done too. So I don't know, maybe we might have to go with the pinkish one. So yeah, Tyler's it's I, sorry, I'm looking in my drawer here for more red. I like that dollar store red. It's my favorite color red. I'm looking in my paint drawer right now for more of it. What's this? I got this red, but this stuff, rose. This is the rose red. Sorry. You guys want to see my paint drawer? There's all my paints. What's this red? Yeah, this is almost empty too. So yeah, I don't know. Don't be a Jordy. Looks like we're not going to do any more painting today. So this is my paint drawer. This is my paintbrushes. Paintbrushes. Little stuff here. And this is my burr drawer. See how many cases of burrs I got? It's just it's just freaking retarded. So the whole thing now is let me put the camera back in the overhead. The whole thing is is when I get sick. I turn into a don't be a Jordy because when you get, I got to throw all these out. These are all, I'm not going to dilute. I don't dilute my paint with water that much. So when I'm sick, sometimes, sometimes, you know, like I'll sleep all day because that's when the body heals best is when you sleep. So I'll, not all day, I'll like, I'll sleep in. 
yeah, I'm glad I changed my mind. And, well, it's kind of drying red, but it looks more pinkish. I don't want to use it. So that's that, everybody. There's the wood burning. In a few minutes here, I'll be able to answer some more some questions if anybody's got any questions. Um, the uh, so this is all this is all garbage. What was I saying? I was saying something. I'm gonna wash this brush off because this is an expensive dollar store brush. So I'll be back in a second here. Let's get rid of all these paints off here because we're gonna answer questions and. Give me a minute. I'll be back. Please. I got a new coffee cup at the dollar store. It's a good one. It holds like uh, lots of coffee. So the thing with when I get when I'm sick, I lie in bed. When I'm sick, I'm lying in bed. And I, sh I, I'm Amazon's best customer because my Amazon store. Sometimes you guys will buy something for it. I, I don't make money. I get gift cards, so I I save up and save up, and then so maybe like, well, whatever. I'll get gift cards. So I gotta buy stuff from Amazon. So I. I say to myself, well, I just buy stuff that I can have fun with and do YouTube stuff with, with those gift cards. Evil Rick buys his stuff on uh, Amazon. Well, he used to. I don't know if he still does, but he'll just sign into my Amazon and then he'll buy stuff. And I make, say if he spends $100, I think I probably make probably five bucks, four or five bucks. Not even that much sometimes. Spent a hundred bucks. I might even depends what he buys. It goes in different rates and stuff like that. So I don't. Ha my Amazon store is basically. I'm an Amazon affiliate now, so that's a whole different ball game. On my Amazon, like you guys will see him if you go to my Amazon store. That is, you know, Rick can share it. Maybe that's where I'll do the used car salesman shit. Like if, like I bought a box of these pens. And all I have to do is show a video saying, "Hey, look at this pen I got." Um, because I was tired of going to the dollar store and. And I got these pens on Amazon, and um, it's a great deal. And these pens work great. That's it. So you'll see tons of those videos. You car, use car salesmanship. So when I'm sick, when I'm sick, I I sleep. I wake up. I watch. Well, actually, this time before I got sick, I I, re, I went and bought myself a present. I bought myself a PlayStation 5 the day before I got sick I think from carving all those trees who knows maybe carving all those trees got me sick but when I'm long story short when I'm sick and I'm lying in bed with nothing freaking to do I spend money on Amazon so the epoxy stuff, oh, I've always liked to dabble in it and stuff like that, but I just kind of you can never really unless you don't unless you have the proper gear, you can't you can't do it proper. So this I've said on one of my videos, this is a lighter case. It was bamboo. I bought it from Amazon. I carved it and it it cracked here, then it cracked there after I carved it, put the lighter in. So I said to myself, Well, I'm gonna 
get some epoxy lighter cases. If they sell them, I'm going to pour them and carve them. So that's what I did. So these are the carved case. So this is where it all lead. It all starts from this because I've always liked, to, I've always liked epoxy and different colors and shit and epoxy and stuff like that. So it's a real nightmare. But even today when Tyler was uh, visiting me, uh, the postal truck showed up and I says, I hope that's not for me. And he says, why? Well, yes, I got too much shit, man. I just like, I ordered too much shit when I'm sick. And also, because I'm an Amazon affiliate, Chinese companies want to send me things to make videos, not for you, not like, not for YouTube, but for just like for my Amazon store, so I can show their stuff. So I got too much shit, and that's the bottom line. But I'm having fun with these. This one I made for myself. This one. That when I pulled it out of the mold, it was the epoxy was still soft, so I like it was kind of warped, so I had no choice but I put a lighter in there and then I the epoxy epoxy molded onto the lighter, so I had to be careful not to carve through it into the lighter because who knows if it would blow up or not. But this was gold color, um, so. <sighs> It all started from this. It, it opened up my curiosity again. I'm curious. I want to learn things. I want to do things. And you know, when I, I made a video on Facebook or something, or even a short on YouTube about carving these lighters, I've like five, ten people messaged me how much are the lighter cases. And I'm just kind of like, well, they're not really for sale. I, I just kind of carve them for gifts. So, anyways. I got like I got like 15 of these things carved lying around my house. So it all started with this long story short. This is the culprit. I hate this thing. I'm going to pull out some of the epoxy stuff. So I'm not going to show it, but I got it's um you know like when you do the epoxy you have to do it properly. You have to read the instructions on different epoxies, how they take and ratio and some are scales, some are done by weights and stuff like that. So Vivor, I'm a Vever affiliate. They trying to send me stuff. I'm like, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Cause I have to make videos for YouTube, but they sent me the, the friggin' case thing. It's like a, it's like a bubble machine. It sucks out the air. What is it? A friggin'? I can't even think of the name of it. It's a thing thing. So I will be making a video of that soon. It's um, uh, Chris Wheels. Are you in here? I think I saw you. You know the name of it. A vacuum chamber or something. But that's not the real way to do epoxy. That's for you when you. That's for molding. The real way, if you're going to do epoxy stuff like this, to get out, yeah, vacuum pump. The real way to do epoxy stuff for this smaller stuff is you need a pressure pot to shrink the bubbles. Okay, I've been following this fellow on YouTube. I forget his name. But that's, the vacuum chamber is for when you're doing molding. It sucks the bubbles out of the rubber. It sucks out the gas. It's all air inside the rubber that it sucks out. When you're doing the epoxy stuff, you want to shrink the bubbles. You need a pressure pot. Pressure pots aren't cheap. I was bugging just kind of Rob to help, help me find one. So I bought a pressure pot too. So that's on the way. So all this epoxy stuff I've done so far is bullshit. It's just like um, it's not done proper. But it's okay. I did a, I didn't make a YouTube video of it, but I did a sink. Uh, a friend of mine has had this big willow burl and I carved a sink out of it for, sink out of it for him and he epoxied it. But I had to, when he did the epoxy, he didn't mix it correctly on a little part. Some of it was soft. So I had to scoop out that soft epoxy and recarve some of the sink. And he he didn't like the epoxy that he bought. So he, I, I said, well, just I'll, I'll instead of paying me all the money for the sink, just give me the epoxy at a good deal and we'll work it to the deal. So I got the epoxy. So, but like, it's not deep pour epoxy, it's table top epoxy right so it's all different stuff and that's how you learn so i've been using 
that epoxy and it's expensive stuff it's like 200 bucks but i've been using epoxy and all this stuff like this that epoxy because it's getting old and your epoxy only has a certain amount of shelf life okay so that's what i've been doing with this stuff you guys won't believe how many freaking mushrooms and stuff that i've actually i got them right here this is just a fifth of them this like you guys you guys this is where I talk about don't be a Jordy. This is just a little bit of it. I'm just going to show this when the camera's in the overhead. It's just me practicing, learning different colors. You know, like here's the gold. This was a mushroom cap. I drilled a hole in here to put a little light, see if it lights up. Where's the light? So I got a little light here because I got plans, right, for future videos. So this little light here, if you put it up in here, does it show through here? Not not really, because I didn't drill the hole deep enough, but some of these blue ones here, like there's a hole. See, I drilled a hole in the bottom, put it up there, and the light comes through. You guys can see, let's turn this out. Let me turn this bulb off. See? Now we got little mushrooms that can glow. See? So, because I like doing, um, like, bases and things with stuff. So, here's another one. I carved a hole in the bottom. So, see? Put the light in the hole. Let me turn this bulb off, too. Oh, shit. Hold on. But here, I'll show you so you can see it glows. Put the bolt light in there. And you got a cool little glowing mushroom. So I've been practicing with all the, I've been practicing. Here's another one, little glowing mushroom. Because I used to, from my friend in Ireland, he, you can get that clay that is translucent to make mushroom caps, but it kind of, I don't know. I'd rather do it this way. So now I got these little mushroom caps, little mushrooms I can put on bases. And the more you do, with this stuff, the better you're going to get. So you got like fruity ones like this. This is that red that turned into the pink color. So I'll just, and you know, on the bottom side there here, there's bubbles. But I'll just give these things to girls and kids and stuff like that. I give tons of stuff away. I don't care. This one's like, a, it's got that pearl color in it. So... Let's get, I got, a, I got a whole fucking box of shit that I've done. And, I, and more. I got two boxes full of things that I've, so, so like here's that red. That's why I stopped using it because it turned into a pink. So then you need to spend more money and buy different um, freaking pigments. I'm freaking nuts. When I get something in my mind, I, I just, I got to freaking do it. If I didn't. I'd be a lot more wealthier if I didn't freaking have to experiment all the time. I'll tell you that much right now. It'll hopefully save you guys some money. So I left some in the epoxy pores as well. So I'm going to pull these out of here for a minute so you guys can't see these. So then, so now I'm getting into epoxy pouring. So then I'm going to, now I'm going to start molding things. I'm going to start molding my carvings. Like, I'm going to do epoxy pours, and I'm going to start, well, I'm going to start incorporating carvings into epoxy. And I'm going to carve epoxy and all that shit too, right? So this is, this was a, this. so this would be mold stuff. Oh, this is the rubber, okay? This is a kit that I had here for three years. I tried to do, I got a lighter case in here. I don't know if you guys care about this stuff, but this is just kind of, I'm just kind of showing you guys what I'm up to. I got a lighter case in here. Here's my thing. I put beeswax on it. I fold, but this, this rubber was not liquid. It was, it was fucked up because look, it looks like a piece of shit. Looks like a turd. <laughs> this, but this rubber was so, it was already, it was not soft. So any of you, hi, hey, James. Uh, James and Evil Rick, I, I went to the post office today. I'm at, I, David Grass, and I 
I shipped your things. So, but this rubber was bad because it wasn't liquid. It was, it was like pretty rubbery. This is kind of cured, but so it didn't go all the way down in here. It didn't, it wasn't liquidy enough to get down inside here. So that's the way. So we'll pull that off after. See, like, this is how it was. This is, this is clean. This is a friggin' nightmare. I'm telling you right now. Do, do, dealing with epoxy and stuff like that, you need to be clean and you need to take your time. But you see, like, here's, an, here's a better color red. This is more metallic. And um, this is like a little mushroom case. You still got to paint those things silver. But you see, you just go like this. And you got to give this stuff to girls. Right? So there's that. Here's your little mushroom caps. I got more on the way. Like, I got more friggin'. <laughs> it's a friggin' nightmare, I tell you. But that's how I learned. So here's two lighter cases that I made that turned pink from that metallic paint. So there's that's why I stopped painting that gnome. Because there's the pink color. Not that a girl, I'll carve some flowers on these and gift, them, gift these to girls. Why not, right? So there's that. Hi, Glenn. So there's those pink lighter cases. So these still need to be carved. So these ones are cool. I'm. So I want to. I want to carve a real nice one of these. Like, spend a long time carving it. Like a, even a day, and then start making molds of the, my lighter cases. So and don't forget, this was the wrong epoxy. This was not this the right stuff but i got today i came home and there's th three three freaking boxes from amazon and it's all epoxy and i got the proper mold stuff too like this stuff was outdated and um it's um it was outdated and it, it didn't we're gonna pull this out i know it didn't go all the way down but it will, it will be funny so uh, these ones are these ones are cool color the red and kind of gold and white i'm trying to make them red and white so, like, here's an example of a little mushroom mold. You can buy these kits cheap on Amazon, these molds. You know, so... It's going to be hard to pull this off. In the, I thought maybe I shouldn't show this stuff because this channel's on carving, but and I'm like, I don't really give a shit. I'll show whatever I want to show. Sorry. So there's, look at that, it looks like a brain. So that's just with um, white paint. But you see, isn't that neat? Thanks, Eddie. Look, it looks like a brain shroom. Sorry about your uh, dad, Glenn. I can read the comments, everybody. So yeah, there's that one. That's this is probably my favorite mushroom so far, actually. Look at it, it's a brain. Uh, James, email me when you get your um, package. Hi Tim, thanks. Hi Linda. Yeah, I'm gonna carve all this shit. But when you carve epoxy, make sure you wear your freaking dust mask. And also somebody said, um, yeah, I can make these molds for candles too. Somebody said to wear long sleeves and maybe wear gloves because they came really allergic to the stuff and they can't use it anymore. So here's this one I did yesterday. I don't know what happened. I think I did a, I mixed it. Um, I didn't mix it properly. See, I, I had the heat gun going and all of a sudden it came boom, popped out. I think I mixed it too hot. I don't care. This is just a friggin'. Hi, Perry. Yeah, so here's this one. This is not, see, when I used, I used pigments on this, and it kind of went goldish in there from the white because it had gold in it. But then I just used white paint in here. It's how you learn. Learning with arts costs me money. 
So hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes. But this is completely fine. Well, not really. It has lots of bad bubbles there. So if I have that pressure pot, okay, when I when I had that when I have that pressure pot here, it will shrink those bubbles and you'll see none of that. Hopefully. So there's that. Oops. So yeah. Let's see all this shit in here. I might forget the fellow's name that I follow on YouTube, but he's like a pro. He's done thick molds for like Walt Disney and stuff. So this would be the bottom case for that. Uh, this would be the bottom case for this mushroom cap, but it's screwed up. But this will make a nice little container for somebody. So this kind of, I got more mushrooms coming, man. Different molds. So my objective of this is to carve mushrooms good enough to make my own mushroom molds of my own mushrooms because yeah, like sure you're having fun and you're making weird colors and stuff like out of this mold and stuff like that but it's not really your own art this is somebody else's art it's probably a machine made mushroom and then they make the mold and sell you the mold but it'd be neat to have your own mold so you can make your own mushrooms and put them on your own thing and say yes i designed those mushrooms does that make sense to you? So this is me practicing with the epoxy to get good enough to carve my own mushrooms and do my own molds. And I got two two boxes of mold stuff here today in the mail too. So I've spent hundreds of dollars. But you gotta, you gotta, for me, that's why I like, learn from my mistakes. Sometimes this one, and don't be a Jordy. But this is the stuff I like doing. It's epoxy. It's fun to do at nighttime when you can't be loud. You know, like look at this nice little case. See? Nice little thing to put your change in. Um, here's the lid that should fit it. Let's see here. This lid should fit that. There you go. Nice little thing to store your weed in or whatever you want to stash in there. Or this thing. Shit. And you got those little dots. I sent uh, Larry Dibbs one of these and you got. I sent him a silver pen. You can paint those little circles there any color you want. But this one kind of didn't cure probably, but it, the lid locks on it. But you can buy them so they twist on too. Not that anybody cares. So there's this little bowl here. I'll just give this shit away. I don't. I don't care. They don't. People don't need to know that I was. I was learning when I made this. I can be like, yeah, look at this little wicked bowl I made. But sooner or later, I want to be able to carve, carve my own bowl. Okay, so you guys understand my point of this. Carve my own bowl then make molds out of my own bowl and be able to sell them for cheap or whatever. Not, just not even sell them or just have fun. This, this world's too friggin' messed up nowadays. Thanks, Rumpel. So yeah, I got two lighter cases in the molds. I, I thought, it, what's going on here? I just thought I'd show you guys the. Get in there. No, that's backwards. There you go. So these later, these are the later case. These are the molds for the later cases. So this is just white paint and that um, resin stuff. Just carve, Rob. Carved your own thing in a bowl. Was, was it a cement bowl, caveman? Just carve Rob with the snow plow. Also, the fellow that I've been following on YouTube about epoxy, 
He says, if you think you're going to pour epoxy and it's going to hold its color, it does not. It changes color. So the only way you can do epoxy is paint it with good paint and then your color should always stay the same. He showed examples of his, like say he's done, this guy's a professional. He's done like stuff for Disney, Walt Disney and stuff. He's poured things different colors, then puts them together to make a piece. And then five years later, the piece is completely different color because the epoxy turns different colors. So this one here. See, like this. So perfect. That's perfect. That doesn't look pink to me at all. So there you go. So this is what I tried to do with the that red metallic paint and the white um, pigment, but it went pink. That's kind of more, not really red, but... That's what I was going for right here, but it'd be better if it was a little bit more red, but that's okay. It comes off as red. Well, it is some type of red. It's Tusami red or something like that. Yeah, that's neat. So that's that. We've got one more to do here. These things kind of bitch to get back in there. I'll do that later. Has anybody got any questions? I can read all the comments right now. It's like these these lighter cases are poured with the wrong type of epoxy, but but it's working. They were it works good on the lighter cases. They get no bubbles in it. Black Onyx, there's that one too, so perfect. Yeah, those ones turned out pretty good. Oh, yes. Yep, I'm happy with those. So I got, I got, I got four like this. And you can pour them and then carve them, pour them and then carve them the next day. So I got like a whole bunch to carve and I got the pink ones for flowers and stuff. Should I make a video carving one of these or have I made a video or not? No, I don't, I don't use, they say to use release agent for the, for these, the molds will last long, longer, but I don't use any, um, use, I don't use that release agent. I do. What other molds do they have? You can get molds forever, whatever you want. I got molds coming for little owl. I got like friggin' 15 different molds coming. Well, not 15. I got it from, I ordered from Wish. I ordered from that Timu place. I ordered from Amazon. I got molds coming from, of little owls. Don't get your epoxy in your coffee. So what? There, look, there's more. There's more blue mushrooms up here. I got a box of them downstairs. Guess, the might the nightmare is real, my friends. It's yeah. It's best to use the releasing agent, but you don't have to for those. Can you, I'm um, sorry, I missed that question about deer antlers. I don't know. I never looked. I'm sure you could actually. Can anybody guess what this one is? If you can't guess what this mold is, I just bought this for fun. Zippers. Can you guys guess what this mold is? Come on. No, not a brain. No. Yep, Tim's just carve Rob. You already knew the answer. You cheated. So this one. 
This is the skull. And this, you guys will see the bubbles in this. But this was, this mold was like five or six bucks. Oh. Got some overpour there. But there's that one. I got to clean it up. That's super, it's called Flash. Clean that up. That's easy. But you can see the bubble in the, uh, oh. See? Just to practice. Tim, I haven't sent your stickers yet. Maybe I'll, I said to myself, maybe I'll wait to see if you win on the... Um, there's a message that's being held for review. You can't swear on the messages, James, or sometimes they get blocked. Got Spike's name all over that. Yeah, so you can see little bubbles in here. I don't care. But, um, yeah, I didn't send your... I didn't send your thing yet because maybe your stickers yet because maybe you'll win on the giveaway for the chip in part. And then if you did, I don't care. I'll send you one of these skulls with it. So just be patient with the stickers, buddy, but I got some for you. So there's that. There's the skull mold. So, you know, there's not really nothing in here. I know skulls are a thing of the 90s, but I still think they're cool. So that can go get put away. Now, here's here's one I made for Just Carve Rob. This is with that same powder as this stuff. See? Rob can have whatever one he wants. But this stuff carves super easy. This flash stuff, it's no problem. <laughs> Efo, it's kind of funny that you say that a bird skull actually have a uh, mold of a crow's skull coming, or a raven's skull. So yeah, this one—if you look—I don't know if you guys can see, but if you look at, if you look past at all the stuff on the outside, it looks like there's brains on the inside of it. So that's, this is my objective, is to carve things like this and be able, be able to mold it, just for fun. So here's this piece of shit. So, I just want to see if the beeswax did the you know, Oh, and James, also, the lighter case that I sent you is not the lighter case that was on the video. It is the lighter case that I made for my dad. I sent you the wrong one, but it's it's okay. It's got two wood spirits on it and an eagle. I'll just give my dad the one that I made for you. So sorry about that. So where's some scissors here? See, I know that, that the rubber didn't go all the way down. Because it wasn't liquidy enough. I don't care what anybody says. Don't try and tell me how to do it better. Because I knew that it wasn't going to work. So here, this this is it. So let's see if it did. Oh, I forgot to put mold release on this. I should have put mold release on this. But anyways. A big snot ball in there. You know, you have to carve things. You have to carve things set up for molding too, like not really sharp edges and stuff like that. Bless me, being sick. Great, now I got mold shit stuck down there, but I'll get that out of there after the video. But let's see if it held some of the detail. It looks like it did. But yeah, so this was, I shouldn't, once I realized this stuff wasn't um, liquidy enough and it was no good, I shouldn't have even attempted to do it. 
So that's that with the molding. I got mold stuff here. I got epoxy stuff here. I'm waiting for my my resin pressure cooker, pressure pot. So here's another mold that I got in the that came from Amazon today. I don't know what this one is. This is it. Oh, this is the this is like a little jar with a lid, so Oh shit! This is the same thing. This lid goes over top, so it's just like a little round jar. You pour the stuff in there. Yeah, this is your lid. You pour the stuff in there, and you pour the stuff in here, and then you got a little container like this one. See that looks like brains. But you see the cool thing about these containers is. Once I pour them, I can carve them, right? So I don't know. I did have a, oh, what's this one here? I did have this one. I drilled the hole a bit. I was going to carve this. But I, should I make a video? Uh, sorry, everybody. I asked a question earlier. I didn't look for the answer. Did I film carving, like make a video carving this lighter case, like a, a, a dedicated video to it? Have I done that or not yet? I can't remember left from right. So, pigments, different colors. You want to talk about pigs? So, I, I only have, I was only limited to a certain amount of colors with the pigments. So, I'm going to show you guys, like, don't be a Jordy here. What else did I get in the mail today? Mica, pow mica powder, 108 colors. I thought these jars will be little tiny things. Hold on, let me open this. So look at all these different colors I got. All these different pig, 108 different colors. Yep, because I need to have 108 different colors. Yep, that's why I got all these, because I needed to use 108 different colors. Don't be a Geordie. This stuff was pretty cheap. You need a pigment drawer? Why do you need a pigment drawer, Eddie? Or now I need a pigment drawer? Thanks, Ethel. Thank you. I appreciate it. That was nice of you. Merry Ho Ho is the season. I got my Grinch set up out front. This is my favorite color. This, uh, oh no, this is per innocent purple. So this is white and you get purple in there. So anyways, that's the bullshit that I'm up to. Now let's get, uh, let me get set up here. So that's what Jordy does when Jordy's sick. Don't forget, you need to buy all the, the pouring cups and all that stuff. So oh, here's some silicone rubber to make some molds I just got. Here's more silicone rubber to make molds I just got. So... Like I said, I probably will be doing this stuff more on my um, other channel. But I, I'm, okay, let me sit down, get relaxed here, and I can see what you guys answered if I should make a video carving the epoxy. Because everything's just a mess. Also, I'm not going to get into it too much right now, but I'm going to be making a video of these when I go to my chainsaw tent. These were sent to me from a friend, a local subscriber, not a local subscriber, somebody from the UK sent these to me, sent me five, 
These are Sando Flex refills. Um, I got to make a video for them, and um, Buddy will sell them. He makes them on his 3D printer. Then you just load up the sandpaper yourself. I got five of them. It's actually SC Carvings. So if you watch this, thanks, buddy. I will be making the video for these, and hopefully people will buy these from your friend. And don't forget this. That was the best deal of the day at thrift stores. So I need to make videos for the Christmas challenge stuff here. So I will be putting this epoxy stuff aside. All this bullshit. And, uh, Catching up. That's why I started this gnome in the Santa. In the Santa today. And I got to work on my base. Because I should have had that done a long time ago. But I had a mad rush for the Christmas trees. And I had to carve freaking Christmas trees. For two weeks or something. I'm not carving anymore trees. Well, I got three left to carve. And the lady from the store says, all the ones with hearts on them sold. So can you carve some more heart ones? And I says, oh, okay. I can't say no to money. Nope. So it's, I told Just Carve Rob, I said, it's weird. It's like a weird addiction carving the trees for money. Because I don't really carve to make money otherwise. But when it comes to Christmas trees, it's like I'm addicted. I, I cannot stand carving them. Like at the beginning of the year, I like carving a couple, like 10 or something. But after a while, it becomes so repetitive. Then it's just like a, it's like, it's like weird Christmas tree um, carving addiction money or something. I don't know what, I don't know how you'd say it. Hi, Jane. Yeah, we we'll call it the Christmas tree. Crazy Christmas tree carving tree stuff. Where's my screen gone dark? Oh, yeah, these are great little weed cases. See, I won't sign this unless I carve it. If I carve it, I'll sign it. Let me see, I got to, there we go. Get my screen brighter here. Let's go on. Can you guys hear me? 